Hi, my name is Danielle Robinson, and I'm the Partnerships Director at Code for Science and Society. We're the nonprofit that um, sponsors the DAT project and a couple of other really cool open source um, and open science focused projects. And I'm here today to talk about a project called DAT in the Lab. So first, before I talk about that, let's uh, very briefly, the 30 second intro to what DAT is. DAT is a, uh, I feel like I should say this because of everyone I've talked to today, it is a non-blockchain based uh, file sharing protocol. So um, essentially, DAT will allow you to version control large data sets. DAT will allow you to share peer-to-peer -peer large data sets and develop private networks. And so DAT in the lab, this project, which is funded by the Moore Foundation, is sponsoring us to go into labs, work with researchers, and develop ways that we can use DAT that um, enable them to better manage their data internally and um, publish their data automatically, version the data automatically. So what can we do throughout the research life cycle that will make it easier for people to take great care of their data while it's in the lab and then prepare it for accompanying a publication or um, et cetera, otherwise going out into the world. So what I'm looking for is more use cases. Excuse me, I touched the microphone. Um, I'm looking to meet researchers who have issues moving large data sets from one place to another, researchers who might need to develop private networks to share their data. We already have uh, the labs for this pilot project committed, but um, I want to know more about what the community wants so that we can um, help you build it together. And that's it. Would anyone like to? How large are large data sets? You're going to like this answer. Theoretically, there is no size limit to the um, size of data sets that we can move, share, version, sync, but you will find the limit in your system, the bandwidth um, connections. So uh, Not the in thing this about that, <laughs> <laughs> the data lives where it lives. Yeah. So um, you don't need to host it on a third party system. We're really um, the uh, pipes <laughs> that move the data from a peer to a peer. So if somebody, if you have a large file that you are uh, that is updating, live syncing, um, or live syncing, live changing, uh, people can sync that and they'll get the live changes on, on their machines if they're watching it. Yeah. Can you address just a small portion of a very large data set without yes, transferring can. the whole thing? Yes, you can. That is um, one of our main features because we know that it's challenging for researchers working with large data if, you, if the data is updating constantly to pull down the entire uh, data set. And so DAT enables you to just take the part that you care about or just bring the part that's changed.